I guess we're live. I don't know. I keep having this codec issue, and I updated my drivers. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, now we're live. All right, whatever. I guess it's just a menu that likes popping up. Drunk Discussions podcast is live, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, shit. Fish. All right. You have a good. All right. Call? It. I don't know about good, but it happened. All right. Well, we are live, so. Cool. Well, glad everyone knows about my bowel movement. <sighs> Your good old BMs. It just says we'll be right back. Cool. Good piss. Barry, we love you too, bud. Has anyone seen Cherry? How did, I only see Barry. me as a viewer. How does Barry in here? Oh. Oh, shit. I'm pinning his message. Good 20 minutes. I hate all of you. Let's stay up there. <laughs> Who's taking us in? I'll take it. You, Connery? Yeah. Cool. Make sure your phone is off. You want to start now? I mean, it's not six yet, but in 30 seconds it is. Got my masturbate and tackle shirt on. I'm ready to tackle this masturbation. I don't know why my camera's not sinking to my face, but it is what it is. Maybe if you like put away your laundry, you could have it centered. It's not my laundry. It's the fucking machine over here. My mom's damn treadmill uh the cpap machine yeah the cpap that's all right well fuck it we got people here let's do it Just run it basically six o'clock basically phone's on silent hands, wheel, wheel, wheel. hands and penises inside the vehicle at all times during this enjoyment i hate all you this is great yeah, it's staying there. Has anyone seen Cherry? Look, now mine's not fuckusing. Fuckusing? Fuckus. All right, go ahead and take us in. All right. All right. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Drunk Discussions Podcast. Today, I am joined by Logan and Paul. Paul, what are you drinking on today, bud? Um, Actually, I had some friends wait in line for me today because I couldn't and got me some Four Roses single barrel barrel strength. And that's what I am sipping on tonight. Is it good? It is fantastic. What about you, Logan? You got some H2O? Yep, just some water. I'm drinking. Uh, I'm actually not drinking, but I'm drinking. I got Kratom. What? Yeah, I got what Kratom in here. Oh, <laughs> it's a like kombucha? What? Yeah, no, I went with a white leaf Kratom uh, to see how I feel. I haven't done it in the afternoon, so curious on how that'll be. Well, um, cheers, boys and girls, then. Yeah, cheers, cheers, cheers. You can ride in the trunk. Uh, anyways, guys. Do you guys have a good uh, good week? Yeah, what do you, uh, well, yeah, I worked. I started a new business. Um, speaking of which, they're sponsoring this episode of the day. <laughs> Are you going to just go ahead and enter it right now? Oh, yeah. 
Uh, so Local Legacy is sponsoring this episode. Uh, Local Legacy Co. is based out of uh, Southwest Florida. However, they specialize in all marketing services from web design, gaming logo design, Twitch stream layouts, you name it. Uh, Local Legacy Co. is our sponsor. Thank you so much for sponsoring. You're welcome. Hey, look. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, it's you, dude. Yeah. You kept saying they. I was like, you mean you? Look, it's a, it's a single man team, uh, but you can go ahead and request services. They're very affordable because it is a startup. Uh, however, if you want to find out more, visit www.locallegacyco.com. And for starters, I can't believe that name wasn't taken. That's actually kind of crazy. That's a solid fucking name. Like building a company's legacy locally. That's the tagline, by the way. I'm going to make like a little jingle. Of yeah. course you are. Do, 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 do. <laughs> certified uh but yeah how about you logan anything fun happened for you other than not creating uh, a business oh <laughs> uh, no just sat on my couch all week and didn't move well that's exciting um i the most exciting thing that happened to me all week happened today uh i have to bring it in you guys already know about it and i'm smiling i had someone build out of parts a lightsaber and give it to me at work today i'm telling you dude look at that you need a strap for sure. They would have built it out of shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, just like parts from like Menards and shit, random things like you know washers, bolts, and a all 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 screw. It's amazing. This thing's impressive. Was, it's got some weight to it too. I was hoping you were gonna give us the blueprint. If I'm honest, I mean, I could probably get it from him, you and know, then I can give it to you guys. It's you know not hard with that. You could drill out them. so machine out the center of it, and then somehow install a police baton in the middle of it. It's threaded. I can just thread whatever to it, and then you could you could put a police b- baton to it, and then just, whoosh, just and just beat the fuck my, out. My of My attitude adjusters, kids. Yeah. Keep kids, it someday. next. Keep beat it. You. Keep it in your. Uh, <laughs> what are you driving now? Didn't you just get a new car? An MDX. I got a. a oh. So we had one, and my brother has it. It's a 2005. I got a 2007. Oh. Um, my mechanic hooked me up, and it's a nice car. I like it. It's a good car. Logan's um, like, I sat on the couch all week and I'm just going to go yeah. back. <laughs> Logan's been consistent working out and give us being a hermit. <laughs> give us how you feel. Like, how's your life changing? Are, are things improving? You've been working out a lot. Tell us about it. I mean, I definitely feel better for sure, especially mentally. I think that's a big part of it is like the cloudiness and fogginess kind of goes away after, you know, you actually get up and. Get after Instead it. of like getting up and just like eating and going to work and then coming home and sitting down, like you know, you mean walk out of your bed, walk in, yeah, your office. okay. Listen, for me, it's different, but I'm speaking <laughs> generally, yeah. instead of like you know, just basically getting up, Ugh. working, and then sitting on the couch and then gaming well, for a little bit and going to sleep, you actually get up and do something, and I don't know, you feel well, better, cheers. I guess. Cheers to your, your your new fitness journey. I mean, we've all started to turn our lives around. So cheers to that. And with that being said, let's roll that intro. Roll that intro. What happened was we were, we got caught up in a drunk discussion, and then he burned the bacon. Me? Can they hear us if I talk? Right? Mm-hmm. They can. Well, we talk about everything and know nothing. You know what I mean? So it's it kind of seems like a win win win. Here's Gerald. Come on, everybody, I'm dead. <laughs> just draw a dick on it. It's not offensive. It's a dick. Everyone's got a dick nowadays. Dude, tell me more, because I don't know anything about it. Oh, a flapper's a 1920s dancer, you motherfucker. <laughs> um, got a lot of bagels. I like my bagels. Chug 30. Cheers. Salud. I mean, this shit's free, right? Monday morning. Time on in. Quality base here. The Eagle has landed. And we're back, uh, guys. We do have a pretty coital episode for you. And speaking of coital, uh, Paul, I was thinking with this lightsaber that you've got, you need to go buy the American <laughs> Challenge. And it's and uh, hear me out. You use the force, not That's with a, consent. A, the force with <laughs> consent. So I guess I'll fill our listeners in. Today is a oh. special episode. Fill them in Everyone, with <laughs> we had a lot of viewers and listeners and fans and family reach out to us and they want to know some things about us personally. We don't have to answer them. If you feel uncomfortable today, we understand. But today's episode below average, we're, <laughs> we're talking about sex. <laughs> so, I we had it. a lot of 
<laughs> we all do it. Sex. Yeah. It's it's like that book. Remember the book? Everybody poops. Yeah. Everybody. Poops. Everybody sex. All right. Well, so we had a lot of stuff set in, and there's a lot of them to me to go through. So I'm not I'm not going to be naming names for I'm people asexual. because they're <laughs> because they're quick. Not all everybody right. has sex, Paul. <laughs> Well, actually, well, since we'll get to the topic, talk, let, I'm, I'm going to be honest. You're our only outlier in this. Me and Connery, obvious, have had... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, look, I don't know no, about no, that. No, no, stop. Connor, I know I'm you're past. Shut the fuck person. out of here. No, no, you're lying. Logan is the only one here who's generally, gen, like, actually been with just one person, and it's beautiful, and their relationship's great. So, like, he's our little outlier, because we... I'm not. I'm single. And then Connery's married, but I, I know it's past. Thank you for so, speaking on my behalf, Paul. So, oh, so you don't think that. you don't think that your relationship's beautiful? I envy that. I think it is. It's 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 romanticized. A lot of people, right. a lot of women specifically, love that idea of the first person they lay with, they spend the rest of their lives with, and you guys are living that. I think that's badass. It's funny because like most Christians don't even do it, and you're and you guys are, and they aren't Christian. And you're like first ones together forever. It's adorable. Well, uh, I'm sure Logan is a full fledged Christian. Remember, it, it, Jesus doesn't know if it's in the ass. So, like, he's <laughs> it's God's loophole. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> God's poop hole. So, I guess what I hate you. We're getting into it. So, first question. Yeah. And this actually is something that we can all read, and it doesn't singular anyone else. Have you ever had a condom break on you before? What's a condom? <laughs> Yeah, I've had Fuck one. Off. I've had one to break when I was younger. Um, so it was actually the first girl I ever slept with, and my mom. I, I think she actually talked about it during the Mother's Day podcast. Speaking of which, we need to do that again. Um, All right, coming up. Get Kim on there, and Mama. Oh, that's gonna be Mama Ray is gonna be. Oh, that's gonna be an awkward one, but we'll see. Hey, it, you know how fucking awkward it was with me, Jesus. <laughs> um, but yeah, like it was like like fifteen. Um, Okay, young and all right, buddy. Yeah, she was actually. Awesome. I was probably about the same age, freshman year. So yeah, that makes sense. No, I was. So I snuck out of my house, um, ran into town. So it was about a two mile uh, nighttime hike. Yeah, hike at night, midnight. <laughs> it, was, it was probably about like one in the morning, and uh, uphill yeah. both ways with a boner. To be fair, like I think it was after the eighth grade health class, so I knew how a condom worked. However, I was still like. Oh. I wasn't did the, wasn't sure. The, so the banana, did you uh, do that? Yeah, we also had to watch a video in our what on how to do it. Yeah, yeah, like just porn. Mm. Well, no, the teacher brought in a well. The teacher has like a a phallic member that she used as demonstration purposes instead of a banana. Oh, but oh. I I I remember so I, I went know. to the gas station, yeah. <laughs> and this is how my mom found out I was starting to have sex because I went to the um. There is a Chesterville convenience store. It was, it was literally the only store in town. And by by all means, guys, like I grew up in a population of like 200 people, if that, in that town, one stoplight town. Um, you mean stop sign, not even a light? The, well, they installed a stoplight. Um, oh, oh, they upgraded. Eh, My bad. City limits. They're like, <laughs> hey, look, we're, all of our funding's going into this. So um, how did your mom find out about this? So the then? the store, uh, I just realized that was off. Uh, the store clerk actually told my mom she was like, "Hey, Connery was here. He bought whipped cream, condoms, uh, and oh, uh, Kool Aid mix." You're a kinky motherfucker. Well, it was actually funny because those condoms we were blowing up put w with the whipped cream and the Kool Aid mix, so it was like giant red dicks, and we would like <laughs> hit each other with them and they'd explode. But I had like a leftover lifestyle condom, and Oh, that's where you. That's all up. they sold, mind you. This is the Chesterville convenience store. This shit was covered in dust, so it was probably an expired condom. Uh, and yeah, I busted, but I didn't bust. Can we talk about how much pressure it is that condoms have an expiration date? Yeah. So here's my thing, though. But I feel like not all condoms are built the same. Because, like, again, the only one time I've ever had one break was a lifestyle. Never had a Trojan break before. Never. Mm -hmm. Never had a Trojan break. Uh, that's the only brand that I buy now. Um, Same. But I mean, for what the past five years, I really haven't used one. Uh, just recently started using them. I found this one that's uh, it's, it's like the bear, bear naked, and it's ribbed. And it's oh, for her pleasure. Yeah, it's um, they're nice. Uh, 
They've definitely improved over the years. I remember the first condom that I had, you couldn't feel shit. And now you're like, whoa, it's almost like the real deal. Uh, so, <laughs> Logan, ever had a condom not work? or No. Never. Okay, well, you're lucky. Good. So this next one, <laughs> yeah, I think we... Luckily, I've never had this happen. Um, but have you, has your parents ever caught you masturbating? Yes. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I've walked into my parents multiple times on accident. I'm like, oh. Oh, I, I feel you, brother. I still think of that. Did you, I think, no, the one time I was like, they I saw that did too. My, uh, I love this comment that we got. My wife is the condom. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh. Same. I have a good friend of mine, actually. It's hilarious. Um, him and his wife, uh, finally, you know, they have a house. She's got out, finished school. She's going to be a doctor and everything. And she's like, you know what? I think it's time to have a baby. And he's like, bitch, I haven't, I haven't pulled out in five years. <laughs> <laughs> I lost it when he told me that. He was like, if we were having a kid, I, we would have had it by now. We would have had a kid already. Oh, I have. That's hilarious. I haven't risked it. Um, well, like, but your mom caught you, but oh, wasn't it because she caught you because of the porn thing that we talked about or no a separate incident? Well, you're talking about like walking in while you're yeah, yeah. That. like, <laughs> we've had that conversation before though. Have we? Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, so we're lucky on that. Mine then. was, mine was, I had a big the monitor. phone thing. Well, no, that's yours was the phone thing. That's like, she knew I was jerking off, but like actually walking in on the act was a different story. Um, you know, Some of these questions, yo, are, you guys are geez. sick. Okay, I don't know. I know who sent this one, and he's a friend of ours. <laughs> Have you ever farted during sex? Yes, uh, actually, yes. just happened last week. Yes. Oh yeah. Wait, now it's the, natural. The question is, do you do you push through it? You're like, you know what? Do you laugh it off and you're like, let's get back to it, or is is the well, moment over after that? It's a two parter, <laughs> and the second part was, did it smell? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I don't Bro, think I ever I, had one where I was listen, like going, I was like, oh, that's just a rank one. Never. Mine was when I, I mean, was performing conolingus. So it's not like I was actually doing any thrusting or anything like that. I was I was in the position and I, as you know, and uh I just I felt a bubble in my gut and I was like, I'll just quietly just let this out. I tell you what, that fart reverberated through the room, and because the cheeks were the way they were, they slapped like little pucker kisses on the You're way out. Me. And tell you what, that is the quickest way to dry up a desert. Did you say pucker kisses? <laughs> yeah. Please tell me with his lore, and she's like, "Get off of me now!" No, she started crying, laughing, and then and then I was like. That's the um, thing. Are we going to get back into this? And she's like, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> What's funny is a few, sh few minutes after that, she let one out too. And I was like, somebody was going to shit themselves. Today, for, okay? <laughs> you were like, thanks for waiting. Yeah. Uh, and then I guess we'll keep going then. But have you guys ever had to use the pill? Oh, the uh, day after. No, well. It just says the pill. So I'm going to say, let's say the blue the pill plan B, plan B and then we're going to say the blue pill. Have you, we'll start with the first one. Have any yes, of you I've ever taken had the rhino pill? Yeah. <laughs> You've the taken the rhino, rhino pill. Yeah. <laughs> so here's a fact. I've actually never taken it on purpose. I was at a friend's house on purpose. Listen, I was at a friend's house and he was trying to be funny. And I was like, I need an ibuprofen. I had a headache and he gave me a fucking, a goddamn boner pill. And I was, Is oh, dude, hurt? I was in high school. <laughs> right, right. The, the blood's gone, so I should be fine. But I was freaking out. I was like, what the fuck? And he's like, yeah, I gave you like a Cialis. And I was like, oh my goodness. I, so the, I was probably like fucking 16 then, 17. The gas station rhino pill, you could literally not, not break a sweat, but fuck for like five hours. That was, I feel like it would be a really good, like if you were to but run a ever, marathon, I would, I would take you, one of those and try running a marathon. Just a rock hard, just like you're, you're on mile 18 and everyone's looking at you. How are you not sweating? And you, but you're just pitching a tent. <laughs> like, don't worry the about thing it. is, is okay. Cause I've never used one for during the act yet. You know, yeah. age is a bitch. We'll find out later, later down the road, but does it affect your, like, obviously you have great performance, but do you, your sensation, do you even get to, you know, feed the ducks, distribute free literature? Um, yeah, you can, I mean, climax. there's really no point when you only last 30 seconds, you know? Oh, Logan. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn. 
Oh, actually, I should be. Oh no, Mina. <laughs> but my thing is, um, with that, I never understand. I'm always farting and lasting thirty seconds. And... <laughs> How are you? St- <laughs> your beautiful <laughs> relationship. That's the secret. McDonald's would like to hire you to speed up their drive-through process. Correct. <laughs> this guy's got record-breaking time. So then, I guess we'll go to the other pill. Did you guys ever have to buy the uh, the day after? Uh, with the previous girl, yes. Um. Yeah. Yes, Logan ever? No. 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 So the one time my condom broke is the one time I had to buy that that plan that the plan B pill. So Was that with the last one? No. 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 Was that Was not. Wow. Oh. So long ago. Oh, yeah. I was long ago. Uh, oh my god, it had... No, I was when I before you Actually went on that? just before because I was still living at the house before we moved in together. Oh, it was that chick we saw at the ice cream shop in Radnor? No, not her either. Never mind then. I don't know. You never knew. You wouldn't know her. One of those, you know, Nio nights. You know, it is what it is. I'm glad. I think that place closing was the best thing for our health. I miss it, though. That Nio's was great. But now it's like an apartment didn't, complex. Didn't they close it because of underage, underage drinking? Right. Yeah, and now all the other ones still do it, too. It's like... Jesus Christ. That was the one bar where if you were going there, you were the bouncer inside of the bar asking girls, can I see your ID? And you'd pretend to be a bouncer, but realistically, it was just to make sure they're actually of age. You're like... And if they weren't, they had their exes, but if they just go wipe them off, wash them off. Yeah. But all of those days. All right. So here's another one. <laughs> Have you ever had to stop doing it because the weather is too hot or too cold? Every single time. <laughs> you need to what? Start sweating. Oh, it's it's the heat. I gotta turn the AC on. I'm not I'm not like gonna toot my own horn, but Lauren can contest to it. Uh yeah, we'll fuck for a few hours. Um or, or I'm sorry, that's vulgar. We'll make love for a few hours, but realistically that's including foreplay. Don't let them lie to you. No. Um you get so hot and we keep the house at sixty nine degrees. So if I don't have a fan aimed on me while I'm performing. I, I won't get there. It will be just a sweat fest. Um, Your balls start hanging way low, huh? They have started. They're back. Oh, oh. You've hit full fatherhood. <laughs> you have new balances and your nuts hit your knees. I did just get my first pair of new balances. They're like orange and gray. Oh, no. Bro, I didn't think they'd be that comfortable. That shit They're is great. phenomenal. Like They really like are. pillows. So wait, you don't have the typical blue, like white new balances? Like dad's like, you're ready to mow the lawn with some high socks on? Florida man. I think... I think I'll get those when Delaney is old enough to like start walking um, and being embarrassed by you. Yeah. Yeah. I want her to be in school. You know, you're going to be that weird dad though. Aren't you? You're going to try to embarrass her as much as possible. No, I I'm going to respect her boundaries because that's one thing that like, I know mom doesn't listen to this, but like she, even to this day, most embarrassing person, uh, like not embarrassing in general, but she's really good at embarrassing me. She's the only person that can really embarrass me. Nobody can do it except for my mother. Um, and there's a little, little resentment, little bit of resentment there. Really? Yeah. Okay. I can't It's see my mom did it, but it was like on accident. It was never like she meant to be embarrassing. It's just like mom. Well, I mean, that's it a is what it is. My, yeah. My dad, on the yeah. other hand, he was, he's definitely a dad. Like you get a cut and he's like, Let's chop off your fucking leg. You won't be complaining about it now. That type of shit. I think that's rub how, some dirt on it. That's how I'm gonna be. be like, ah, you broke your arm. You want me to break your other one? You know. That's how my dad was too. And luckily, he was my baseball coach. He was Oof. the, uh, what was? Did you guys have people who watched, like parents who volunteered to watch kids at recess, kind of deal? And like maybe they helped out at lunch or whatever. My dad every now and then did that, but Tyler, um, Paul knows Tyler, um. Uh, his dad was our soccer coach and it was a volunteer position. But yeah, during, mm-hmm. during recesses, uh, parents would come in and that shit was always hilarious when the parents came in to watch us. My dad was pretty good at embarrassing me. Yeah. My dad never came to the sports thing. So I never had to worry about it. <laughs> so yeah, next grass is always greener <laughs> grass is well, where you water it. You could have had them uh, in there telling you what to do while you were trying to do it every time. And you both know my, <laughs> knew my father. He would have probably been the worst person to be around there. I probably was better off because it's like he's the most was the most embarrassing man ever. 
And it was just him being himself. He was he, he embarrassed himself mostly. I'm just like, my That's God. That's two strikes. Are you going to hit the damn ball? I'm like, oh, my God. Do goodness. better. I'm Dad, I'm trying. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so this next one, controversial opinion. Uh, do you guys think, I, I, we don't have a female to you yes. know, be in this, but do you think blue balls or getting the pain of blue balls is really that bad? No. No. So here's my thing. Now, no. But as a teenager, yes. it was worse, way worse of a pain than it is now. It was. And and it I would never use on. that as an excuse. Be like, oh, I got blue balls. Like, you, gotta, mm, you know, never. It was just like, all right, fucking suck it up and deal with it. But like some guys make it seem like it's agonizing, excruciating pain. It's like, eh, you, it's, it's doable, bro. You're fine. I think one thing that I've realized, and I, and I, I think it's going to get worse now that, you know, I've got a kid, is the back end thought process of she walking into me one day and i think blue balls are something that i'm going to become a pro at uh over time you know <laughs> yeah just like oh, well, where it is we're and done that's something i wish we could ask our parents like hey mom dad so it's funny that you say that because literally the next question is has have you ever been walked in on during the act it doesn't mean by parents or anything just anyone mm-hmm. and i can say yes you have connor because well, i've you... walked in on you <laughs> and, and what did i do Kept going. Made eye contact and kept going. Yeah, kept going. <laughs> and I think you've walked it on me, so that's that, that's a yes. That for house sure. was a nightmare when it came to having bringing over women. No, it's not. The thing is, is well, yeah, because of location. John. As far as hell. No, no, everywhere. no. That wasn't the problem. The location was perfect. People didn't mind driving back then to go to places, especially that was a nice house. I, I, I loved that, that house. Lauren and I were uh, looking at buying it. When I was living in Westerville, though, that was, yeah. That was fucking filthy, pretty much. <laughs> filthy. So, but regardless. Let me ask some oh, questions shit. just off the top of my head. Do you guys use toys in the bedroom? I have. Do I use it Use it often? It depends. No, not really. So there's this guy named Jason. You know Jason. He has... Um, he probably, to this day, still has it. But you know those Brookstone back massagers that look like a giant fucking vibrator? Yeah. Yeah, he has one of those, and he pulls it out of the box every single time, no matter who the chip is. Mind you, for our, our listeners... Like, does her back or like... No. Because that thing's huge. They're not little. Yeah, no. He, That's a big piece of equipment. You gotta think, though. He's also, like... He's in the Cougarville slash Gilfit stage. God, he likes some older women. Dude's what? Mid-fit? 40s? Uh... Was it a fun house was a question we just got asked. Um, <laughs> well, you guys have all listened to the podcast before, and we've had we've talked about the situation with our roommate John with the 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 sheep noise. Bah, so, yeah. Bah. So we did some stupid things, you know, like, you know, if you could if you did that noises, certain noises during sex, we'd pay up. But John would literally run down butt ass naked and ask for the money right during the act. We would like at least wait and be respectful we're, to whoever we were with. Paul and I had girls over. John's upstairs, and we bet him before he went up there. We were like, "You make a goat noise, we'll pay you twenty bucks." This guy, top of his lungs. Paul and I look at each other. You just hear "bah" at the top, and then next thing you know, footsteps just <laughs> coming down the stairs. Boner full on display, and he's like, "Where's my money?" <laughs> and out like, "Pay me." Please, sir, give me some more. We give him his money. And yeah, I just, it, do you, looking back at it, Paul, do you regret? Do you regret what, the house? Yeah. No, it was a great time of my life. I got to live with two of my, well, me and John aren't, or no, aren't as close. I've tried to, to reach out sense. to him. Tried, but me and you are best friends. So like, yeah, I got to live with my best friend, dude. We had a great time. You met the love of your life and now your wife during that time frame. So like, of course, it's an amazing time of yeah, no. Uh, I guess the actions in that house. I don't. I don't think I do. What regret it? Yeah. No. Fuck. I have my cat. Hell no. We house. had some great times. Oh, and the thing is, is like our neighbors were like a mile away, so we could have parties. You yeah, know, be loud, shoot whenever, do whatever, and no one's gonna be mad. I'm pretty sure we had a party one time where I woke up the next morning at like 7 a.m. and a friend of ours, Sam, was passed out face first in our front yard. And like, there's a major highway going in front of our house and he's just laying fucking face first in our front yard. We have people like sleeping 7 a. in the cornfield. School buses going by. Like, Pretty sure David was in the cornfield that night. David was. Oh yeah, he cornfield. got lost. 
So, I mean, there, it was a fun house who's, all in all. Who's on the roof? Charlie. Uh, I mean, I used to get on the roof. But, oh, Charlie did. Charlie yeah, he was, was on the roof. roof. He fell asleep on the roof. But we had a nice little access so you could get Somebody out there and like sunbathe. slept in the gravel driveway. Yes. Yeah, we've had the a few times. We've who had was that? that? Um, there was two people there. They were it was that time rest. specifically. Might have been talking about. Yeah, that might have been Dom. Was it you? No, it wasn't Paul, Dom. That might have been you. There. That no, was no, no, no. I, I never I felt. It, wasn't it you and Sam? Well, we partnered no. up that night. So. Mm -mm. There was another time where I know what you're talking about. We were yeah. some things were involved, drugs, uh, regardless. And we were out in the front yard, and it was like we were watching Tylenol. the sun come up, and we're Tylenol just laying. Yeah, just laying back and watching the sun come up and I was, you know like i noticed it's like six something and all of a sudden a school bus goes by because like my when i was in car sales i had like wednesdays off or something yeah and it was like a wednesday and school bus goes by and we're just sitting 7 a.m laying in the gravel like with backpacks and sleeping bags watching the sun come up and now it was an amazing experience but people thought we were probably crazy when you lean back, I thought you were going to fall again. And I think Connor did is a, too. <laughs> it, it is a scary one because there's a point. Like here, anything past this, gone. Ooh, um, gone. Oh, John was... Uh, we did have that business next to us, though. And we they, did. They and hated us. They did. Mainly an because electrician of company. Was business. There's an electrician company inside the barn. So we had like three silos. And it's a giant arc gravel driveway. And there's a big electrician white company to the right. And then we have this massive white house with a de attached and detached garage, four parking spots. It was amazing. Huge home. But like we fucking did whatever we want. Shit, our John drove through our grass in the front and did donuts one day. Yeah, and that's why the owner was pissed. After that, very pissed. I remember John out there, he's stamping the grass out. He's like, I can't believe I did this. I was like, well, yeah, you you were you an did idiot. drive home drunk, you dumb shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, next one. I wonder if that house is up for uh for rent. No, it, I, I look it. all the time. No, it's not sold. It's still through Howard and Hannah. They still have it. I'll buy it. Never right sold. Now. I'll I sell know. this house and buy that. No, no I'll, I think I'll they're just going to really. I'll just rent it out. You guys just oh, paid What does this say? You live there. You... That's just the dumbest question. And like, no, but I'm going to read it. I guess that someone sent in. Did you ever make out with a really hot person to only find out that they're your cousin? Connor, that's you're specific. in the South. Did that ever happen? I know, no, like that's never happened. Can't say I know I who have. my cousins are. I Listen, mean, she was a third cousin. No, <laughs> third, I'll be honest. It was the third, twice removed. Okay. Most of my family very ugly, so I have not had that problem. Can't no, confirm. Sure. Connor is the best looking one out of all of them. What, Damn, what, that's yeah. wow. Actually, Just, I take that back. Your little mm. brothers might be catching up. They they haven't fully hit puberty. They might shoot past you. You never know. Corbin's taller than me now. I know. So when it full full testosterone kicks in, he might end up being better looking than you. You never know. Yeah, neither of them can grow facial hair. Well, Kevin can grow a little. Um, is it racist to say beaner stash? Is that a? I think so. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. Well, in that case, he's growing a a very thin pencil line mustache. It is. Can you verify that for me? <laughs> it is. <laughs> I think it is. It's uh, oh well, comedy. Yeah, I can't grow. Um, I can't grow facial hair either. I'm still waiting. When I grow up, maybe. You have. All right. <laughs> you're, you're, you're. You need to just shape it up a little bit, Logan. Are yeah, you guys a fan of grass on the field or not? Now that I'm older, it doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. Fucking. What's the point of a dirt field? Fucking. <laughs> I think you know what I mean. Are you a fan of the bush being there or trimmed? I wasn't a big fan of George Bush. I don't think I would have voted for him <laughs> if if I was old fuck, enough. Fuck you, Logan. D dost thou like pubic well, then, hair, my boy? Oh, okay. We're talking about pubic hair. Doesn't bother me. Yeah, I like mine. <laughs> yeah, it's cushion for the pushing, buddy. I kind of when um you know being married, there's a few stints where every now and then it's there's time in between it, but it doesn't bother me. Um, <laughs> There's time, but uh, I, I definitely grow it out to see. I grow it out in between, and I'm like, you know what? How long can I get it? And I've right. had, I've had some. I'm surprised how fast it grows. To be honest, I think it's I mean, long. Me personally, I don't really give a shit. But I mean, I'm, it's pretty long right now. I'd say I'm more of a fan of a clean, cleaner cut. We'll say cleaner. It doesn't have to be perfect or it doesn't have to be shaved. Like fuck that, just cleaner. 
I don't really um, care either way. No, but it seems also that more females seem to like not give a shit at all. They're just like, yeah, I like a hairy man in general. It doesn't matter. I'm like, okay, whatever you like, girl. Do you like um, a little like uh, silencer on the tube it, uh, on the back? You know, what? The what? You know, the what? You know the how what? like you know how hair back there? You know? Sp- Are you talking about dingleberries or something? No, no, no. Like no, I'm uh, like a little hair in, <laughs> I'll just in between like the saying cheeks. That word. I love that word. I don't know why. Because women can get very hairy assholes. Oh, God. Not really. I feel like women have less hair in general. Duh, they have less hair everywhere. No. No. I, no. I mean, no. I'm pretty sure they were women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, nowadays, Connor's like, it's like a 95% chance. <laughs> pretty sure. Well, I'm, yeah. Not 100%. Okay. In your relationship now, so I'm kind of excluded, which one of you is the horniest? Definitely me. Actually, I think Lauren is, but she doesn't act on it. That's fair. She like keeps it bottled up and tries to do the little signs and we're retarded and can't pick it up. Oh yeah, she'll hop right on top of me while I'm watching TV, and I'm the type of guy, like, especially if it's like the first hour after getting home from work, I just, somehow, that hour allows me to detox from that mentality. Women, I'm gonna be blunt. We don't pick up those signs. You got to be really like obvious sometimes. Like after a long day of work, you got to just just throw yourself if you really want it. They're not going to say no. I think on a psychological level, and for some reason, my brain just went into this direction. I think on a psychological lo- level, women never forget how to flirt and they can recognize flirting. But for guys, I my flirting is with her and it's the equivalent of, I like your titties. Um, you know, <laughs> get your tits out. Get your tits out. Yeah. Um, yeah, hon. Yeah. <laughs> but Come on, uh, hon. Get your tits out. <laughs> uh, fucking hell. But um, I'll be out in public, and you know, women will, I guess, flirt with me all the time. And I, I don't, I don't recognize that. But Lauren's like, she was flirting with you. I was like, did I flirt back? And she was like, no. I, can't read I was like, comment. that's because I didn't know. <laughs> Can you? Oh, let's see what the comments did. Did someone say something? Yeah, I, uh, I'm. Honestly, I feel like it's pretty equal. Go uh, raw and to save the turtles. <laughs> yeah, go raw to save the turtles. Hashtag think green. How did I just now see that? Uh, save the turtles. They don't need condoms in their nose. This is great. All right. What other? Uh, qu- oh, um. Oh, so many, dude. I mean, some of them. I'm, I'm having to sift through them. Like, here's one. I don't. Have you ever had a dumb Google? No. Like, I have a list that I have compiled from. People that have listened to our podcast, people that have emailed or Snapchat us, or all kinds of different ones. Like we have, I'll count them. I have them listed. They want to know forty. We have forty questions involving. Sex How many of them are from Tegel? No, not the. I, I think one. One. Huh. Uh, not much you, though. For our listeners in chat, if you have something that's related to this, uh, yeah, you're more than welcome. Ask about it. We'll answer it. Um, so why do you think there's such disparity between men with toys and women with toys? Like you can go buy a pocket pussy, but for some reason you're absolutely shamed for having one. But a woman See, can I have disagree. a secret closet stacked full like a weapon arsenal, fucking two foot American like challenge. <laughs> two foot American challenge with neon lights above it to go ahead and Maybe, say this. I is think my it's the men position. that do it. It's not the women looking bad on the men. I think it's the men looking bad on the men. Yep. What are you talking That's about? That's what I think it is. Because I, as a man, I have bought sex toys before, yeah. you know, with partners or whatnot. And you know, when I'm buying them, the women in the front checking you out or whatever never judges you. The woman I'm with never judge you. It's like if you tell another another dude, like, yo, I bought a pocket pistol, be like, why the fuck did you do that? Just use your hand. Like, no. It's the or, men on men, no, like, shaming right there. Like, I think it's more like, why do you need a toy? Why don't you just go have sex, you loser kind of thing? That you know too. I mean? and, that too. And I think it is men shaming other men for using sex toys men, more than anything else. If you shame another man for having a sex toy, you're not a real man. You're a pussy. Mm-hmm. Is yeah. he? No, I mean he has one. You yeah, don't it's, like it's just beads. silicone. <laughs> I I'm a full supporter of butt play. I don't have a problem with it. I think it's okay. hilarious watching other guys, like older guys too, uh, because most of the uh, let's be honest. I live in Florida. I think the general population down here is fucking sixty two. Um, you know, we'll talk the about NH. sex with guys. You know, and when I bring up ass play, they're like, "Whoa, that's." 
that's gay. And I'd be like, <laughs> no, you need to try it, dude. Just have a little finger play. Just play around. See, you might like it. And they're like, oh, if I like it, that means I like penis. I was like, I can tell you what. I don't think about dick. I don't mind ass play. <laughs> and I don't mind ass play. So next one. <laughs> this one. Oh, my goodness. So what is the most over and underrated foreplay? There's not many to pick from, I feel like, but I got to think on I think this. the I most know. overrated one is the 69. You think it's overrated? Yeah, I think it's more or less like it, it's it's kid related. I th that's weird to say that out well, loud. Well, like when I you're younger, as a kid, like 69 was the coolest thing out there because it was efficient. You, you both win. And now it's sort of like how I was talking about isolating muscles to Logan, right? <laughs> it's it's. You got to have a really good connection of thinking about your pecker as you are also performing because you don't want to be the, the the poor man on performance because you're too focused on how you feel, right? That's, That's why fair. I think it's overrated. Now, I think you got to be a giver. The most underrated foreplay is massages. Jimmy Jones. Oh, oh, every woman here in our chat now is probably going to be losing like, yeah. Yeah, massage and, and and I'll be honest, I don't do it enough. I don't. And I. But do, here's the thing: uh, does she give them to you though? It has to go both she, ways now. She does. Um, but the problem is, is like I just got off around a test, right? And I've got back knee, and the, the massages lead into picking. Yeah. Okay, but listen, <laughs> I listen. can see Lauren doing that all of a sudden. Pop, pop, pop. Keep Keep your shirt on and also do yourself a favor and just get a massage gun. You can get one from Walmart, relatively inexpensive. You can, if you want to spend more, you can get a really nice one, but it's really inexpensive to get one. And I totally agree with you also. Yeah. On, both, are... on both of them? On yeah, the can. massages. Okay. You can use it for both. Okay. I mean, there's this, a there's this attachment so... that's a U and that thing perfectly fits. So, and it vibrates. Oh, are you talking like that? A click to the vibrate gun? Because that'd be a lot of force. Damn, damn. Well, yeah, I mean, you're I mean, goddamn jackhammer. Put up, yeah, well, yeah. Be fair though. <laughs> get, it's get also it. not. It doesn't always lead to that, too. You know what I mean? It doesn't have Sometimes, to. Massages, nice, massages but... always do. Well, yeah. Lauren, they do. Lauren's, get out of here. Lauren's been specific on saying like foreplay starts in the morning. So like throughout the day. So the foreplay in her mind is. You know, the, dirty. the dogs are all let out, taken care of. She's got a fresh cup of coffee made when she wakes up. That's foreplay for her. And I think I need to recognize that. Yeah, service. You, yeah, yeah access, access that's, what, service. that's just her kind of love language then at that point. Yeah, no, she loves that. Um, like I've had, for me though, mine's you like just blow on me. You're like, hey. And I'm like, hey, I'm here. Hey. <laughs> Man. Okay, well, that's fair. I guess I can understand those for it. <laughs> so, what is the longest period of time you have gone without sex? 15 years. I was going <laughs> to say. say. That's what I was thinking. Uh, All right, next question. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was fucking quick. Uh, so, <laughs> are you a fan of loud or soft moaning? Um... If it if it's forcefully loud, like you're obviously trying hard, absolute turn off. Uh, but if it's like instantly done, if you're like an hour into it and you're both sweating like crazy and in the moment, kind you're of in thing. the moment. Yeah, the loud stuff. Yeah, but as a guy, I I really don't say too much. I don't. Mine's sometimes a grunt, like oh, you know, <laughs> about it. Whatever's natural, honestly, is is a big turn on. Because yeah. I feel like if it's exactly like you said, if if it's like clearly faked, then just why do I there's, there's no point. think of like the Family Guy song where it's like Daddy goes, uh, Mommy goes, Wow. <laughs> so the 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 problem that I'm having right now is Miss Rachel is is in our life, and if you don't know who Miss Rachel is, and the people that have kids know who she is, Miss Rachel. I don't is know what is. 
What She's is that? a YouTube child personality that uh, educates children, um, but also sings fun songs. And uh, for example, one of the songs she says is, put it in, put it in, put it in. Yay, you put it in. Um, that just gets stuck in your head, right? Because it's on the TV. Another song is... <laughs> did you sing this during sex? Uh, yes. I have. <laughs> he totally did. I did. Yeah. It, it didn't... It, we didn't go further. Didn't go over well. Moment. Yeah, Lauren's were like, shut the fuck up. I've definitely, like, if it... If I, you know how like it's later in the night and you become ornery? I don't know if you have like crackhead energy last hour before you go to bed. I have that. Um, whereas like you're chill a child, I'm full on the spectrum, just off the fucking wall. We knew that. Yeah, and um, I'll say stupid shit like clap on, and then immediately sex is ruined. You know, and I'm doing it with the balls type of deal. Like clap on, and then she's yeah. like clap off. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I think it's because okay. of living in the house with you guys because we always made those <laughs> stupid ass bets. Do you think it's possible to have a physical relationship without falling in love with them? No. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I do. I think that lo also. I think love is work. Agree. Thank you, Logan. I think that it can start with physical. You know, and but it doesn't necessarily lead to love because love requires two people, mm -hmm. in my opinion. I think you, I think one person's like always you gonna can, end up falling in love. I don't know. That's, I mean, it's possible. Um, but I mean, then again, if two people are open about what they're wanting in the beginning, it's you never know. We're having more and more people also getting like polyamory and you know, non monogamous. I can't, I can't even talk. Jesus, relationships. Cheers. <clears throat> yeah, cheers. Who knows what oh, some people are into? Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not saying that's me or you guys, but I mean, it's out there out of 7 billion people. Absolutely. Some people can make it work. Eight. Mm. That's right. We just I hit think eight. I forgot about that. It's easier. Okay. So it's scientifically proven that there's hormones released in your brain during sex, but like those same hormones can be released i don't remember if it's serotonin or dopamine or what it is specifically but it's released during sex that same thing can be released yep. like from Drugs. smoking a cigarette or it's post not clarity doing molly or <laughs> and so it's like but then you know is it really is it really love or does your are you just being tricked into thinking you're in love because i feel That's like fair. i don't know have you guys ever had a post nut clarity where you're like, I can't believe I just did that, or I can't believe I watched that, or I can't believe we just did that? Yeah, that's how yeah. I stopped believing in Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's nope, good, God's a woman. It's a good thing I wasn't oh. drinking or I'd have bourbon coming right out my nose. I was straight up like, there's no way he's a guy after that. God's a woman. <laughs> Okay, well, fair enough. Uh, okay, next one. Are you guys, <laughs> are you cuddlers when after doing the naughty? You get the fuck away from me. I don't want you to No, I'm a not. cuddler. I'm a cuddler. I mean, I'm a, I'll am I'll air out for a second, but like, get on over here. Let's snuggle. I'm usually, I'm definitely no. the power. And I'm radiating fucking heat afterwards. Like, you got to give me an hour to cool down. Don't touch me. Stay away from me. Just let me, just let this engine cool down. Otherwise, it'll be a runaway diesel and I'll keep going. <laughs> I'm just off, off to the yeah, races. Not a, not immediately after. It's good. You, you got to take a few minutes. Yeah. You, you, just, might like, need, there, you might need to even hop, hop in the shower with for each like other. a cool rinse real quick, and then I think Lauren, then you can cuddle. I think you know? Lauren definitely has a post nut clarity when she's like, she looks at me after we both get you know done with it, and she's like, "You're fucking gross." Like. <laughs> Uh, you're sweating. You're, you're like that's love, heavy. everyone. That yeah. is true, true love. Because she doesn't want to be touched either, and I don't blame her. Like, if, imagine hugging somebody that's really sweaty, you know. And especially you both are. Like how much chest hair I have? Like everything's, you know, when you get out of the shower and your chest hair is all matted down. That's how I look. <laughs> like you're like, well, go towel off, bud. You know. Yeah, and I go think if she was like, I want to cuddle afterwards, then I would. I would just deal with it. Yeah, but like, we're both kind of. That's fair. You know? 
I think, I think I've had moments of both where it's like, okay, that was a lot. Let's take a second. Then I've had ones where I was like, that was nice. Let's uh, snuggle up and watch something. We're not really yeah. much. I like, I love my, my love language is touch, right? I love just like, no, I love cuddling. Don't get me wrong, but our, our version of cuddling. And it's been like this since we've been together is I'll have a finger on you the entire night or like my foot. And we'll just, that, we're touching feet. That's, That's but just one foot. Like we're barely I, touching. I do it too. I mean, it's like, I'll cuddle while I'm watching something. And then at a certain point when I'm ready to fall asleep, it's like I flip and then like, you know, a foot or a leg, that's fine. But like, that's all that's needed. Okay. Any other questions? What? Oh, we have so many. What part of the opposite gender body do you find the most attractive? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. Ass. Same. I'm an ass guy. I mean, I'm not going to say that the uh, girls upstairs don't do it for me. They do, but I could care less on them. I'm like big, small. They're all awesome. I, I honestly don't mind. I, it's something about the butt that I enjoy. Um, I, I take. You're a nibbler, aren't you? I. Oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> You're a nibbler, aren't you? Leave bruises. Yeah. That's a biter. That's not a nibbler. Jesus Christ! What are you, a vampire? Something about it when you're in the mo moment, you take a good bite. You know, you're a, you were the hickey guy back in the day, mm, weren't you? You no. just leave marks. Hick. I don't know how to do hickeys. Um, the hick leaving hickeys. I hated hickeys so much when I was younger. I still Same. Ate them. Still ate them. I think they're childish as fuck. So have you ever had them when you were younger, or now if you've had them recently, whatever to you, each his own. Where you walk in somewhere, like you go to work or something, and someone calls you out for them. I've had them, and I didn't know I had them because. It was more or less just like a long kiss type okay. of Okay, no, I'm calling bullshit because you can feel them brewing. Mm. When it's going on, you can feel them brewing. Oh, yeah, you know. You'd be like, yo, yeah. get off me. But you uh, Listen, a you girl may I dated, have unconsciously it ignored it, like but... You knew it was going down. You knew it was happening. <laughs> it's also yeah. a really like, sensitive area, and I'm very white. I feel like I could just pinch myself, and it would look and like a hickey. And you'd have one. Yeah. See, I had one where I didn't know it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was intimate moment, passionate. And I went to work, and my manager at the time, I was like, whatever, 17 or something, was like, um, you need to go to the bathroom now. I was like, what the fuck? Like, my zipper down? I'm good. She's like, just go look at the mirror. And I walked in there, and dude, they were just everywhere. And I was like, what the fuck? What do you even do? Put on a fucking turtleneck? So, a trick. Yep. She taught me this, my manager. Hot spoon. Concealer? A, a, mix for, uh, a plus for her, but cold spoon in the freezer. After you've brushed it with a comb, so you take a comb, brush your neck, like help, I guess, break up the blood vessels, I don't know, and then take that cold spoon right on there, gone. Hmm. Do smells bother you guys during sex? Yes. Yeah. If it's, if it's ranch, rank, ranch, if it's rank, we are in the if Midwest. If it's ranch, I'm eating it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I'm eating it. <laughs> Shit's never land bussing, man. That shit ranch. Uh... I just need some chicken nuggies. You know, like Hidden Luckily, Valley. I've never, I've never had that problem. Extra creepy. Thankfully. Yeah. But, um, I've had situations before, and you just gotta soldier through. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've definitely had a my fair share of those. Like, there was this um girl I dated where, this is like, this is when I was at the car dealership. Um, it was around the first stage of me finally getting into the workout area. She was the type she'd go, we'd go for a run together. And then she was like, let's go do it. I'm like, uh, no, we need a shower first. Yeah, let's go take a shower. <laughs> so is that how your way of like kind of hinting at that fact? Like there's no easy way to be like, or a girl to be like, yo, your dick stank. Or like, yo, when we were doing that, that was a little gross. Like there's no easy way to come across that. I think no, I mean, you just there, easily, though. like you can just be like, let's just take a shower. You want to take a shower together? Yeah. It's fair. And then you can actually take a shower and or do it in the shower you know, and then you know sex. if you need to clean up afterwards so we'll, let's talk about that shower sex since you said that you hate it why i love shower sex i think it's great i'm not sitting there using the water as lubricant because it's not but like let's be honest the only position you can really do in the shower is doggy style or up against the wall but when you're a foot difference between your wife it doesn't work that's why you pick her up mr strong man and then slip, fall, and you both die? No. <laughs> I, as someone that has slipped in the shower while you doing know. that, <laughs> understand. <laughs> Bro, I was down and out of work for like three days once from slipping and falling and hitting my back on the shower like knob. Yeah. Awful. You know how much you get from slip and falling in the stove? <laughs> Call Morgan and Morgan. 
we don't get paid unless you get paid no i actually didn't know that that's why clearly you were embarrassed about it at that time because i remember I you like cry you were crying about it you were like oh it's my so back. much pain I dude yeah, oh. i don't know what to do i gotta see a chiropractor i went and i did called off i work. paid like 700 dollars for like a week plus or whatever chiropractic one love chiros they're great they crack that thing up and snap me back but yeah, I needed that because I I slipped some discs. <laughs> what about um? I think I think most people <laughs> can contest to this. When you know you could be walked on or like public sex, not like. Have you done public sex? Not. I've done it outside. Really? Yeah, at the Radner house with Lauren. Oh it's yeah, that is. I think it's terrifying. It's it fun. I've done that I got kind of thing. I got sunburn on my back. At least not on your butthole. No, there's too much hair. SPS it's just a lot definitely of 110. kind of terrifying it is but um, i think that little like adrenaline from it is, yes it's kind of nice i like, like that. i could be arrested in any moment i could be tased with my pants down you could <laughs> this be. is awesome so, yeah. <laughs> you guys probably know this is that but there's a road called airport road right here in delaware oh, no. okay. and airport when i was Ford. in high school we used to drive down there and that was like our spot because like the three houses on the end were like vacant no one lived there but after a while, like if we saw a car coming up that road, it was like all closed on because like nine times out of ten, it was a cop coming back there and they're just coming to see what you were doing every time. But you guys, you'd be like, all right, we got like ten minutes. Let's go. Uh, like we were, I, I was respectful then. I wouldn't do it in my mom's parents' house when I was a kid. No way in hell. There was this little call to sex. So I was in yeah, Chesterville. You and you did. Not as a kid. There was no, this... Logan, not as a kid. Now it's been like built into a subdivision but back in the day it was you take the right off of the bridge and you went down and it was middle of nowhere but there was this little cul-de-sac like they put in asphalt roads but didn't actually build anything there for like 10 years after that but anyways um i was finger playing uh with a, a girl um i was probably like 17 18 at the time no I finger bang i was an <laughs> 18 but a guy pulled up on us and started oh, shining shit. a flashlight at us. And I was like, Ooh. but we were still clothed. We were just hands in the pants type of deal. I was like, that could have been bad. Um, and never right. did it after that. Other than if it's in my own yard, you know, done that a few times. All right. Have you ever gotten nervous before having sex? Of course. Like, I feel like everyone with the first time with someone that you care about, you're a little nervous at first. Yeah. Back when um, I was younger. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, for sure. When you're an inch, it really <laughs> takes over your mind right beforehand. What are they gonna think? Is it gonna be enough? It's better than worry like, oh, I'm low to the left. Shit, are they used to that? <laughs> um, I really All don't right. get nervous anymore, and I haven't for the past like oh, five years. Sorry, the dogs are going off right now. Oh. No, you're fine. Um, do you remember? Well, Logan does, but do you remember the first person to ever give you an orgasm? <laughs> yes. It's ingrained in my head, and I didn't know it was uh, happening. It was amazing. I actually have to think about that now. And yes, yeah, now I, yeah, I know. I remember it. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, it's ingrained. It's kind of there. It's, you always remember that little moment. I just had to think back to it for a second, though. Have you ever, with a partner, un or accidentally said "I love you" during sex? Yes. Oh, yeah. Ooh, like prematurely, and you're like, uh, you're like reaching for the words as you've said it. Wait, like, like a one night stand, and you're like, I love you. <laughs> it does maybe. Say, I've done that this week. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, this? you guys are in different situations. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, what I, I have about? never. Well, I mean, I have one time, and then I ended up dating. The girl, so I mean, yes, I did it with Lauren. Passionate moment, and you're just like, there it is. Like it's when we first started him. dating. I definitely dropped the I love you real quick into it, and it was during sex. Did that freak her out, you think, during that time, or no? Yeah, it did. Uh-huh. It can. That's a powerful word. People like to, especially when you're young, you like to throw that around. Yeah. Um, but I'm, a, I'm the type of guy that I don't say that until I fucking mean it. All right, another fun one. Have either of you, I have been, but either of you been to a nude beach before? Yes. There's one mm -hmm. down the road from us, Bunchy Beach. Oh, that's what we went with you there. You took us there. Yeah. I've oh, been to more than one. I went to one in Italy, too. And I'll tell you what, there's a difference between American nude beaches 
and Italian nude beaches. That's for damn sure. Cause... Mind you, uh, Bunchy Beach, for everyone listening, if you do go to Bunchy Beach, it is not legally a nude beach, but that used to be the nudist beach uh, back in the day, and then it became a gay beach, and now it's just a gay nude beach. Um, but then how is it not legally? If it's like known as a gay nude beach, how... Well, there's so there's billboard beach so bunchy beach goes over to billboard beach and billboard beach is where you and i went we had to go over that little canal to get to it. oh when we were kayaking and there was two guys there that were naked um we just you know gave them their distance but uh yeah uh you don't go there and think you can just have your willy or your your pilly out and think you'd be okay but if you go to billboard beach there's no cops that go over there it's pretty much unregulated nobody goes over there other than people that want to get wet <laughs> have you ever been in the act and just said when will this fucking be over yes <laughs> i read that i was like that's great i don't know who said that in but yeah I've no i've had done tired or it's when you're like oh, okay it switch positions it's your turn tap out yeah every time every time okay y'all both putting in the work i like it yeah, well you gotta tap out every now and then and just okay this one's good you gotta carry the weight share the load share the load share the load and then afterwards take the load <laughs> oh god don't Weirdest... share it with me though um <laughs> don't spit it back in my mouth <laughs> weirdest place you have done the dirty not like body part like actual location <laughs> armpit uh, <laughs> right in the ear. Mm. I'm gonna tap out on that one. Never? You're not. You're not gonna throw in a weird location. No. I think that's okay. That's fair, Logan. If I <laughs> McDonald's okay, well, parking lot. Okay. Uh, it's not oh, wait, bad. Church. My, <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. Mine was in church. Yeah. No, church. Mine was. In Why church. is it my church? But whatever. Mine was uh, Chesterville United Methodist, and the acronym for that is Come. Oh my god. It's funny because oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Uh it's funny because all the furniture that they had there, like the folding chairs, they would write the acronym. They on it. They'd be oh. it, it'd say C U M on the back of it. I'm like why is all these shirt uh why is all this stuff say come and they're Thou like Thou shalt come. <laughs> don't come. <laughs> I'm gonna come. No, don't don't come. Don't come. Jesus is coming in this place of worship. Mm. Weirdest. So did condiment. Like, I don't know how to put this. Like, what did they say? Weirdest condiment or thing used during sex? I'm guessing like whipped cream or mustard or what weird condiments. I don't know. Have you guys ever used anything like that during sex? A Peanut pickle. butter. Or barbecue sauce on my titties. <laughs> <laughs> um, ranch. You fucking you Midwestern. You ranch. did not use ranch. Fuck you. You're like mm, carrots. <laughs> uh, I've done sour cream, uh, whipped cream, of course. Uh, no, you have not ew, done no. sour cream. That is some nasty rank shit. Please tell me mm -hmm. that wasn't anywhere with a crack. No, no, it was like nipple. We that's all we had to play with at that time. Sour cream. It wasn't. Bad. I understand, honey. <clears throat> or like maple some so chimes sticky. on it. Sour cream, bro. <laughs> it's I fully hope loaded. Some ruffles or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. You're just scooping it up off the titty. <laughs> what is it called? Where they have the the, the bar the, and you could get like sushi off of them. Oh, the new. Uh, oh yeah, we had that conversation. Yeah, the sushi. That's all it was. One you just my... did that in your house. You just said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna put the chives on top too." Just a baked potato and about... steak and sour cream. Paul, you were voicing concerns about eating it off of another nude body. I remember that conversation. Yeah, I do. If I don't know the person, hey, do you have a that's like a weird. weird thing about it? Like, do you? If it's, would you? If not I don't know eat food him? off no. of someone. Not if it, I don't not, know. No, um, someone you did know. Like, oh, I have. Yeah, and I've done that. That's okay. different. I mean, I've done the chocolate and the honey and all that stuff. Whatever. Personally, I think it just gets sticky. If whipped cream's honestly my fit. That's the best. That's that's like the go-to. You, you just have to if you're gonna do it. it. Exactly. So you're getting high and you're getting to fucking suck something. So it's fun. <laughs> All right. well, so happy pride one. month have you everyone? ever no. ever used something that's flavored such as a condom or lubricant yeah second part part of this question did you like it enough to reuse it no. or do it again duplicate it uh i can't remember who it was i think it was lauren she, no it tasted weird she, uh, it was wrong flavor bitch it was like our it was like six months into it she went and bought the edible panties 
Um, and those are gross. Real, like the the ones that are made of like Smarties. No, no, no. It was like a liquor. Those are good. No, yeah, those are good. Uh, no, this yeah. was like actual pair of panties, but it, they are red, like like licorice almost. Um, you have to really like Twizzlers for that shit. Well, they they sort of have like a um like a wax paper feel, but then they start oh, melting wow. when it's introduced to liquids. And I don't know about you guys, but typically liquid is made um in the foreplay process and uh before so you're you saying the panties there, didn't last at all it's gooey it's just sticky it ain't <laughs> it's not nice i hate it i've not, i've never actually used the flavor condoms never had a, someone that ever wanted they're usually cheaper and they probably break um, but i have done the uh the, the lubricant and if you get the right kind it can work out pretty well fit different flavors you know but wait hold on a second uh one of our comments do a shorty board you know, cheese and salami board. That's a charcuterie board. <laughs> In that case, it's charcuterie. Hey, <laughs> shorty board. I have to go pee. Oh, you go pee. Um, actually, I'm also going to go pee. Let's take a piss break um, and we'll, we'll be right back. It's about that time anyways. Set the piss break thing then. I'm really loving reading through some of these comments right now. They're really great. Uh, Logan is still going to the bathroom, but uh, do you think I got a question? Do you think you'll ever be uh, open to swinging when you get older? What's up? Say that again. Do you think you'll ever be open to like swinging with other couples when you get older? See, here's the problem with that. Like I'm, I'm a. I'm not saying I'm a jealous, but person by any means, I'm not. But I don't. I, I don't like sharing. If I'm like in an actual like, with have a wife in a full long term relationship, we just got to find ways to spice up with each other. And like, I don't know if I'd be okay watching another person rail my wife, yo. Yeah, I've. You'd be railing theirs though. Is kind of the. How that yeah, works. and so, sometimes maybe be good. Sometimes maybe shit. <laughs> um, I think. You know, being in Florida, I've met a lot more swingers than I thought I would. They're very prevalent down here. Very well, yeah, it's Florida, like pineapples everywhere. It's a dead giveaway. Plus, you have like the elderly community down there that has those. I we talked about this before on one of the previous podcasts loofas. that they have the loofahs to show what they're and into. Pineapples, yeah, they have different colored loofahs just depending on what they're doing. So, um, there's also there's a, there's a lot of weird shit that goes on down here. Just a lot of it's Florida. It's Florida. Okay, so we'll get, let's do why one is more question it? and call it. Okay, okay, one and this question. is the important one. This okay. is the important one the from a woman. I'm guessing that sent this in. Mm -hmm. Why is it that men can't ever find the G spot? Because you don't fucking communicate. I mean, I feel like the the thing is like there's a difference. Like there's the G spot, and then there's like the clit. Like you have to know. Men get this like stigma, like they don't know where it is. I think that's bullshit. Like we know where it is. You know where it is. We learned it in, in sex okay. class, health class. It's whether or not they want to do the effort to to please you, and they're not like worried about themselves. Do your own research, but you know, I was always told it's like you know half an inch to an inch inside at the top. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can it's feel like it. It, up, it actually you know? has a different feel to the rest of it. Um, but well, yeah, it's, it varies based on the woman some women is what i'm getting at some women would prefer an external <laughs> That's your um, study yeah uh, external force so to say on on the clitoris than the g-spot itself inside 
it depends on like Logan said, each person's different. But I mean, I guess a lot of people I, maybe she's getting the fact that there's a stigma of men not knowing where the, the clit is, and it's just like that's that's bullshit. What we you know do? Where. Here's what you do, and this look is, for that little hooded soldier. Okay, if you're bald, I'm sorry, it ain't gonna work. But tell or you, just ask. Tell the significant other use my it's, hair like ratatouille. If if it's no, good, serious. pull the hair. If you want me to stop, let go. If I'm going too far and you're not enjoying it, I want to go back to, to move. Logan just said. like move around your body. What did you say, Logan? Dude, all right. It's not that difficult. Ask if it feels good and if you're doing it right. Don't right. be a bitch. Just ask. <laughs> I'm serious. I feel like that like, would get annoying you... that you look like. Is Listen, that good? You like no, that? Oh no, yeah. She's okay. she's probably thinking I don't want to make him feel bad, so I'm not going to stop him. But I'm not getting anything out of this, and then it's really not helping either of you. You are down there doing something that, like, <laughs> wasting energy doing something that she's not enjoying when you could just man up and ask. Just fighting through the jungle trying to find like, it. <laughs> why do you think hey, it's so hard for somebody to ask? Like, Logan and I... I don't know. We've I, been I'm not saying day. I have that problem ever. Yeah. Honestly, I just read the person's body language. But I guess some people have that problem, you know, they can't figure out or know if that's good or have or they're scared to even ask. Like, if it's just a one-night stand, you're not just going to be like, is that great or good for you constantly? You're trying to make kind of an impression. Who knows? I feel um, like it's respectable though. Like, oh yeah, for if sure. You're, if you're, if, cause what if you're like, oh yeah, I'm just going to be confident and do what I think. And then like they have terrible sex because you didn't just ask the question. I think you need to play like a little game before. You know what I mean? You, you, you tell her you're like, or vice versa. The foreplay is you guys talking about sex, right? So normally you do before you go to have sex with somebody, even on a one night stand. Okay, um, I said that was the last the question, but this one, I don't get it, but it's kind of funny after reading it. The guy just says water or milk. Is that, does that mean like after the act or what? Water. Like, yo, you thirsty and you just need water or are you chugging milk? Are I'll we talking milk. like, I'll do milk before it. Why? Protein. I'm going to be honest. Protein. Water, calcium. And then tea. Tea's good after Some sex. nice warm tea. Not coffee. You just like get buzzed again. Like, all right, round two, let's go. I don't like Water's too empty. much caffeine before sex. I think it throws it off. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. All right. Well, well, to all our listeners, I hope you enjoyed this awesome talk of sex today. If there's anything that was left out that you want us to talk about we're not again, doing this again, we can. Who knows? You never know. Down the line, we could. We have so much time left. And regardless, we thank you. We love you. Uh, please go check out our merchandise and, and support us because you're the reason we do this. And thank you to Local Legacy Co. for sponsoring this week's episode. You can find it at www.locallegacyco.com uh, for any game design, fly, uh, printable marketing design, business cards, brand development, you name it. We do it. Um, sex design. I'll design something crazy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Follow Drunk Discussions here on Twitch, guys. Yeah. Follow us everywhere you can. Any place you can find podcasts, we will be there. So peace out. Till next week. Love y'all. Peace. And then.